So first is in what labels, if any, do you personally identify with? That can like yeah. be trans, that could be something like more specific within like the woman loving woman community, like butch femme, whatever. Like is are there any labels that you like personally identify with or like take pride in? Yeah, I mean I think like if any labels that I identify with, it's definitely like queer, like maybe trans woman and like probably pansexual. Um but I mean queer is like sort of more I think encompasses just the weirdness of it all. <laughs> um so now speaking more specifically to like butch versus femme and like other like Butch, stem, like other like <laughs> labels that exist. Um, what is your opinion? How do you feel about those labels within the lesbian community or within the queer community? I mean, like, I find them like a little bit funny. Um, I don't know. I think, I mean, like, there's definitely, it feels like there's been like a spike in like those labelings, um, especially with more like queer dating apps. Um, they just seem to be out there a little bit more. I like I don't know like how people like see me as in like those labels, so I guess I don't really put any real like weight. Sorry. Can you just because of that sound, oh, can you just you, should, you don't even have okay. to turn it off. But if you could just restart from the beginning of that sentence, like I don't know how people see me as and just like finish oh, your thought. Okay. I'm yeah, sorry no, to cut totally. you off. Um I guess like I don't really know how people like see me in accordance with like any of those um, labels so I don't put a whole lot of weight on them like for myself it's interesting that you brought up kind of a spike due to like dating apps um, do you feel like this kind of like pressure almost to label do you feel like that comes more within the LGBTQ community or from the outside community I think it comes, like, solely from, like, the LGBTQ community outside of sort of, like, gay, straight, like, homo, like, any of those, like, sort of more, like, general, almost derogatory ones. I think that, like, we've definitely, like, we've put ourselves into these little boxes um, that, and, like, each box has, like, different boxes in it. Um, so yeah, I, th I think we've like totally just done this to ourselves, pretty much. <laughs> I love that you chose the word like box or like the imagery of like boxes because this is like mostly going to be like a first person documentary on like my own experience with these and like the, the other interviews kind of serve to like compare or contrast what I say. Mm -hmm. um, but for like my own perspective of this, I like recorded a voiceover to like put over these like visuals and like I like go into a whole thing about like boxes so like I'm really glad <laughs> yeah. that you said that no yeah yeah um my whole thing is like <clears throat> busting out of the box I fucking hate those boxes so yeah much. really <laughs> um okay this is maybe like more of an open-ended question um but how does the, and like perceive it however you want, but how does the way you present your gayness affect the way that the outside community views you? Or like, does that even matter to you? Is that even like in your mind? Like, yeah. Um, and I feel like maybe even like within like the trans community as well as within like mm -hmm. other parts of the queer community. Because I know even, like, just in, like, the lesbian community, there's, like, so much emphasis on, like, the way you present, the way you, like, express yourself. Um, what is that like for you, um, speaking to the fact that, like, you are trans, but also just, like, you are a woman that loves women, and, like, there's people that, um, just how does the way you present affect, like, perception? Yeah. And does that matter? I mean, I think definitely both in like the wider general community and within the LGBTQ community, like the fact that I am trans comes before any like sexuality. Um, and that, that's like not necessarily based on like, you know, 
how I exist in the world. It's just sort of like that I do. And people just put more, generally put more emphasis on that and focus more on that than they do like who I'm holding hands with as I walk down the street. Um, I think that like within like the queer community, um, like I, th I think that like my being trans puts me in like a different sort of limited corner of sort of like the like sort of lesbian part of that community. Um, and so I think that like how I sort of present like sexuality wise, I think ends up getting buried and like to me doesn't like also doesn't matter as much. Um, I, I, I personally put a little less weight on that. Yeah, that I was that was gonna be my follow up question. Like, how do you feel about that? Like the relationship between like being trans and like being queer. Um, do you feel like, in terms of like labeling, do you feel like being trans you get more pressure to label yourself within the queer community or like less? Because like as you said, like people especially from the outside community, would just, like, maybe just be like, oh, that person is, like, trans first without, like, considering, like, who you're holding hands with. Yeah, I mean, I think it, it sort of goes... It goes in a weird way because... Um, as somebody who is trans in, like, the current day and age, like it is something that people expect me to tell them depending on like the intim the intimacy of the situation right um you know you you like hear a lot about like stories of you know trans women being like abused or even like killed in situations where the guy says that he didn't know that she was trans and like people kind of accept that as being okay um, and see it as like, oh, this guy was like deceived or something like that. So there, it feels like there's more of an expectation for me to publicly label myself as trans for like the benefit of others effectively. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I think that overwhelms any other expectations of labels for like the public. Wow. Thank, thank you for sharing all this. Like, I know I'm, like, being silent. That's just because, like, I don't want my voice in the oh, audio. Yeah, totally. But, like, really, like, thank you so much for, like, being so, like, transparent. And of course. <laughs> I appreciate that a lot. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to try to, because, like, these are, like, questions I kind of wrote, like, for, like, the most of my interviews like these aren't necessarily specific to you so I'm trying to like tweak some or like come up with some as no, I go yeah, whatever um, because one question I had <clears throat> like yesterday I interviewed a non-binary person and I said <clears throat> I basically asked like did coming out as non-binary in any way alter your kind of understanding of what it means to be a lesbian or what it means to be a person that loves women but still because they identify as right. a lesbian but like are not binary and um so I guess kind of similarly to that um and I guess you may have touched on this but like has your process of like hmm it's like does being trans in any way, to you personally, like right. not how the outside yeah, yeah, world yeah. perceives you, like affect the way that you yourself perceive like lesbian relationships mm -hmm. or like your own relationship with women, you know? Yeah, I mean like definitely. So like I, before I came out as trans. Can um, you just. Before <laughs> I came out as trans, I um, had come out as gay um, and I identified as gay for like a few years um, and then 
I kind of, like, then it all, like, kind of started, like, happening. Do you want me to just turn that off? Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Do I, should I, like, is this, oh, like, yeah. long enough, or? It probably will be, and, you know, like, follow you. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> and this is, like, my last question. I'm sorry if, like, okay, picking no, up your time. No, it's But I do appreciate you so much. Absolutely, okay. Um, or if you just want to like yeah finish. I can just like start all yeah. the way over um, so yeah I like before I even came out as trans I used to identify as gay um, and I identified as like a gay guy for like a few years like most of high school um, and when I came out as trans that like drastically sort of like started shifting sort of like my ideas of sexuality um mostly because you know like when you're trans you experience like i experienced um sort of like sex and relationships with people differently um even than i had sort of before i knew i was trans um after sort of like going through more like transition stuff um they're gonna come in <laughs> they're definitely gonna come in um <laughs> hey y'all oh. i'm doing hey. a thing here oh, okay. we are almost you done now like, like two like a minute I got 60 you. seconds can, can i walk into my room yeah can, like, no you can't walk into your room <laughs> like, stay but, outside what up <laughs> um, where do you want me to start from? <laughs> um, where, like, however you feel like that you can, like, finish your thought. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so, like, after, like, having transitioned, for lack of a better term, um, I think that my, like, idea of, like, what gender was, like, drastically shifted and sort of the level of like fluidity that I saw gender as being definitely affected like my sexuality um, and sort of like changed how I thought of like the lack of binary within gender and within sexuality like as a whole kind of the ridiculousness of it all <laughs> um, definitely yeah. um, thank you so much that was my last question um, if there's anything else you, like, wanted to say that you felt you didn't get the chance to, if there's any, like, last thought you have on, like, labeling in general, you can feel free to share. I don't know. I kind of just think that, like, labeling's a little bit ridiculous for the most part. Um, you know, I think there is, like, power behind it. There can be power behind it. I think that, like, the length... Like, I think that the length it has gotten to is like a little bit ridiculous personal opinion <laughs> thank you so much and 